In this video, we'll take a quick tour of the PaintShop Pro workspace and walk you through a basic photo editing workflow to get you familiar with the key tools and features. If you'd like to learn more about any of these topics, you'll find links below on this page for more in-depth tutorials. Let's get started. When you first open PaintShop Pro, you land in the Welcome screen with several options listed along the left. Files is selected by default, where you can create a new document or open an existing document. In your first launch, you won't see any existing files listed here, but files you've recently worked on will be listed here next time you open the application. There is also a New From Template option, which we'll look at a bit farther on. Next, we have Workspace. The default workspace is Photography, which is a full screen, touch friendly workspace designed for quick photo edits. The other workspaces include Essentials and Complete, as well as the Sea to Sky workspace that is exclusive to PaintShop Pro Ultimate. Select any of the workspaces to see a brief description and click the video link for a video tour. If you've used PaintShop Pro in the past, you may notice that the layout and tools here are different than what you've been used to. You'll find the familiar interface and full collection of tools in the Complete Workspace, which we'll be using in this tutorial. I'll select the Complete Workspace and click Apply. Other welcome screen options include News, where you'll find the latest tutorials, blog posts, contest announcements, and other news about PaintShop Pro, Tutorials, displaying our most popular tutorials, which can be sorted by beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels, and Store, where you can find creative content including scripts, plugins, and applications. Use the filters on the right to find specific content, including content that is free to download. Now let's open a photo to get familiar with the user interface. I'm going back to Files and clicking Open Document, then I'll browse to find the photo I want to edit and click Open. As a first-time user, you'll be presented with a guided tour that points out key tools and features of the application. I'll read and scroll through the screens, and before clicking Finish, I have the option to not see the tour again. If I don't click this box, the tour will appear again when I next open PaintShop Pro. Now that a photo is open, I'm in the Edit tab of the workspace. Along the top are the Menus, Standard Toolbar, and Tool Options palette, which contains options and settings relevant to the current tool. Along the left, we have the Tools toolbar, containing the key editing tools. On the right are the Materials and Layers palettes and the Learning Center. When you select a tool on the Tools toolbar, the Learning Center will automatically display information about that tool, but you can also start from the home screen and browse through various topics. The Organizer palette goes along the bottom, showing all images within the selected folder. To see what this folder is, I'll click to show the navigation, and these images are in the Samples folder. Choosing another folder would show that folder's images in the Organizer. In the User Interface menu, you'll find options for changing workspace appearance, such as displaying larger icons and text, and changing workspace color. I'm going to use the X icon to close the Learning Center, in my example, to get some extra space but it's good practice to leave open the Materials and Layers palettes. I'll close the Organizer as well. All palettes can be turned on or off in the Palettes menu, where you'll also find keyboard shortcuts for these elements of the user interface. To cover all of PaintShop Pro's photo editing options would require a very long tutorial. In this video, we'll touch on some of the most common photo editing tasks, then present a few ideas for easy and creative photo editing projects. An important first step is straightening, since crooked photos are immediately noticeable and can detract from the overall quality. I'll scroll up my mouse wheel to increase the zoom, click the Straighten tool, and adjust the horizontal line to match the shoreline. Clicking Apply in the Tool Options palette tilts the photo so that the shoreline is now horizontal. Next, I'll activate the Crop tool, which not only crops a photo to a certain size, but can also improve composition and remove unwanted parts of the photo. I'll choose the 5x7 size and drag a corner to proportionally adjust the borders. The default composition method is Rule of Thirds, 
and I'll drag the grid and adjust the size so that the top third is above the shoreline and the trees take up the right third. Clicking Apply completes the crop. Before getting into other adjustments, let's discuss layers, which are listed in the Layers palette. The original image is the background layer, and it's good practice to preserve this layer so that you can always get it back if needed. The Context menu, which appears when you right-click, has a Duplicate option, and now I can work on the new layer, which is highlighted as the active layer. A great place to start is One Step Photo Fix, the first option in the Adjust menu. This tool automatically adjusts brightness and color, as well as other properties. I can turn on and off this layer if I want to compare the results to the original photo. Some photo editors like to work with multiple copied layers to compare different sets of effects. Pressing Ctrl Z or clicking the Undo icon goes back one step at a time, and I'll return to the unadjusted image layer. For more editing control, I'll choose Adjust Smart Photo Fix. Now I have a before and after view with PaintShop Pro recommended settings for brightness, saturation, white balance, and blacks and whites. I can adjust any of the settings to see results in real time, such as reducing shadows and increasing highlights. Clicking Suggest Settings would bring back the recommended settings. Clicking OK completes the changes. Zooming in on the canoe, we can see some pixelation where the colors should be more uniform. The third adjust option is One Step Noise Removal, which smooths out the canoe, as well as some of the sand below. There are many other adjust tools, such as backlighting and fill flash for correcting over and under exposed photos, and white balance for adjusting color temperature. When preview on image is checked, adjustments can be seen in real time and are implemented when I click OK. You can find information on these and other tools by opening the Help menu and choosing Help Topics or User Guide or Video Tutorials. And as mentioned earlier, there are links to several relevant tutorial videos below on this page. Let's open another photo to show how imperfections can easily be fixed in PaintShop Pro. I can use File Open or find the image in a browser window and drag it into the workspace. Each open image has its own tab in the workspace because the current window setting is Tabbed Documents. To remove skin blemishes, I'll open the Makeover Tools, where Blemish Fixer is the first option in the Tool Options palette. Clicking on each freckle replaces it with colors from the surrounding area. There is also a toothbrush for whitening teeth. For this stray hair, I'll use the Scratch Remover tool, which covers a line of pixels with surrounding pixels. This tool is also great for removing scratches from scans of old photos. These tools can be used on any sort of photo, including our canoe image. The blemish fixer removes this small smudge and this light spot coming through the trees. And I'll use the scratch remover to cover over this stick on the beach. Here are a few quick, easy, and creative ideas for enhancing your photos. First, I'll make a couple duplicates of my touched up version of this photo and keep the top layer active. In the Palettes menu, I'll turn on Instant Effects. Here you'll find a wide range of presets for transforming your photo, such as Retropop in the AI-powered category. Basic settings can be adjusted at the top, such as Strength and Smooth, and a preview appears just above. Double-clicking the effect implements the changes. Turning off this layer and making the next duplicate active, this time, I'll try the Retro category and the Retro Original effect. Templates are another great way to start a creative project with your favorite photos. I can open more photos by dragging them up from the organizer. And now I have four photos open. I'll switch to Window Cascade so that I can see each one at once, adjusting sizes and placements in the workspace. Clicking the Home icon at the top, brings back the welcome screen, where now I can see the photos I've been working on. I'll choose New from Template, open the Collage category, and sort by lowest price to highest so that I can find free templates at the top. I like the Shatter01 template, so I'll download it, then open it. Back in the Edit tab, the layer structure for this template is set to indicate exactly where each photo should be dragged in. Going one by one, 
I'll select each photo and drag its layer directly into the template document. In the template, I can find each photo's layer and move layers so that each photo is under a black and white mask layer. Now for each photo, I'll make its layer active, then use the Pick tool to move and resize. The Text tool is another way to add flair to a project. I'll make the top layer active so that the new text will become the top layer, choose one of my system fonts, set the font color by clicking the background swatch, click where I want to start the text, and type. Double clicking completes the text, and now I can adjust the angle, size, and placement. PaintShop Pro offers many saving format options in the File Save As menu. If you want to preserve the layers so that you can work on this image in the future, be sure to save in the PSP image format. If you choose another format, such as PNG or JPEG, there will be different options such as compression for reducing file size. In these formats, all layers will be combined into a single layer. This brings us to the end of this Getting Started Guide for PaintShop Pro. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find links below on this page for more in-depth tutorials on the features presented here.